we get any closer, a red widow is actively wrapping up a freshly caught grasshopper. Widow spiders. These iconic spiders are well known for their toxic bite, long spindly legs, and their signature hourglass patterns. You're likely already familiar with the black widow spider, and perhaps even its smaller cousin, the brown widow. But I'm after something much rarer today. Deep in the heart of the wild spaces of Florida, there's a widow spider you likely have never even heard of. Its restricted range means that this spider can only be found in very specific habitat only in Florida, making this relative to the black widow quite a difficult one to come across. My name is Jack, and I've spent my entire life on a mission to get up close and personal to as many unique and dangerous animals as I can. I'm willing to put myself on the line to uncover the truth about even the most dangerous or feared creatures to show you all at home the true nature of these animals. Join me today as I venture out to find one of the rarest and most venomous spiders in the U.S. So basically, as I look for these widows, I'm looking for basically what we call fly-through zones. So these are palmetto specialists. These are palmetto plants here. So the arachnids we're looking for create webs kind of in the spaces between these palmettos so that when insects, beetles, and moths and things are flying through the night, they're going, woohoo! It's great to be able to fly! And then they go, oh, or and they get caught in that red widow web. And folks, they are darn out of luck if that happens. That red widow runs over there, pierces it with those lovely little fangs and injects it with that signature toxic venom that those widow spiders have, paralyzing and effectively killing that prey. And they just basically get food delivery every night. So I wanna be really, really, really careful that I check every single little gap. These are super cryptic widow spiders. They're kind of difficult to spot and their webbing doesn't nearly have the same tensile strength as some of their other black widow cousins. So it can be a little tricky. There's plenty of spiders that utilize these lovely palmettos here, uh, but uh, I've got a good feeling. I have my lucky red widow shirt. <sighs> And that is probably all the difference we need in order to find one of these fantastic Red Widows. Let's go. Despite being equipped with a potent and powerful neurotoxin, bites from these spiders on humans are rare as these animals typically have a skittish and non-confrontational nature. If bitten, widow spider venom binds to neural receptors and sends flashes of pain throughout your nervous system. In extreme cases, latrodectism can occur, which means the venom itself can sometimes permanently, or at least for significant amounts of time, bind itself to the nervous system and cause recurring symptoms, sometimes even for years. As someone who has in fact endured a full envenomation from a black widow bite, this sounds like a nightmare I wouldn't wish on anyone. All the more reason not to handle these venomous spiders without the proper understanding of both their venom and their behavior. So essentially, we are kind of not having that much luck out here today, folks. Um, we've seen a few little webs here and there, nothing that we're looking for. It's been super, I mean, look at this. It's been super overcast. There's been rain rolling through on and off. And God, I'm just getting kind of discouraged. My lucky widow shirt is not helping us just yet. Um, but uh, we're going to keep pressing on. This is great habitat. It's not like these widows vanish uh, if it starts to rain. Uh, they, of course, are fairly sedentary. They make their webs, and some of these females could be living in the same web for three-plus years. So uh, if, if they're out here, we've still got a chance of coming across some. So 
we're gonna keep looking. We're not discouraged yet. And luckily it's not a hundred degrees. It's a nice temperature to hike around. So hopefully, hopefully uh, mother nature can help us out here. Um, but we're gonna keep going. No sense in stopping now. I finally spotted a web and stumbled on something even more extraordinary than I was hoping for. Oh, no way. What you got? Okay, so I saw this web. Hold on. Before we get any closer, a red widow is actively wrapping up a freshly caught grasshopper. Oh, I see it. Do you see that? I see it. I'm gonna see if I can get in there and get a pure shot. Yeah. Let's see what if we can heck? sneak in there. That is fantastic. That poor grasshopper must have oh accidentally gosh. found its way into that web. And uh, that is not the place you want to be anywhere near a red widow. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> the first one we got, I was like, Nick, start filming. I see a red widow web. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, she's actually wrapping up a grasshopper. That is so amazingly cool. Widow spider venom once again is incredibly effective, not just in defense, but in completely obliterating the nervous systems of their prey. This grasshopper never stood a chance once it hit the messy matrix of web and received a fatal injection from the spider. Food may not come through often, and when it does, it is guaranteed that it'll put up a fight. Powerful, fast-acting venom is as important as the webs they hunt in for these spiders. It is intangible as a tether to their survival. We shouldn't fear these animals simply because they've evolved to best procure their own prey. A venomous animal does not equal a dangerous one. If you leave these arachnids alone, you're really in absolutely no danger. All right, folks, so in the midst of this grasshopper struggle, she's gotten a little bit uh, convinced that she wants to kind of hang out further back in her web. So I'm going to see if we can uh, steal her for just a moment, just a temporary setback. Of course, we'll return her, but I want to see if I can... Uh, basically get her back out so we could take a close look at really and truly honestly the coolest spider in florida although it's not as strong as some other black widow web it's still pretty tough for spider silk come on out girl it's okay it's just friendly spider youtubers out here we're not predators or anything and then we'll basically get her out in the open, just like that. Oh, and I will close her into this container. Careful, minding her legs. Boom. That, my friends, is how you capture without even damaging the web of a lovely red widow. This is Latrodectus bishopi, literally our rarest and most beautiful widow here in North America, one of the most gorgeous widows in the entire world, and a fantastic species that I love to find. This is a gorgeous one too, a lot of patterning on the abdomen. She is fantastically beautiful. Wow, folks. Now these are toxic, venomous widows, you know. A bite from one of these could be pretty gnarly. And uh, I don't want to be bitten. And the fact that she bit that pine needle is a little bit uh, perturbing and disturbing to me. Um, but generally, these are super, super calm spiders, not aggressive in the slightest. The only reason she probably lashed out in a bite was because she was like, oh my gosh, I'm about to be bitten. I'm about to be eaten by a predator. But that is so, so, so cool. The fact that I found it while it was obliterating this little grasshopper here, so unbelievably special. That's the first time I've seen a widow with like a big mess of a delicious feast in its maw, it caught in its web. That is so unbelievably spectacularly cool. Now, these spiders are definitely one of my favorite arachnids on earth. 
and it's really no secret as to why they are just beautiful. You're going to hear me say it so much in this video, but it is 100% true. But you didn't just come here to learn about these fantastic spiders. You came here to get intimate and to meet the Red Widow. So let's take a closer look at this fantastic arachnid. Well, my friends, of course, per usual, I'm going to test the waters here. This is too cool of a spider not to get up close and personal with. Come on out, cute girl. Ooh, fantastically beautiful spiders here. Take a look at that, folks. That is the beautiful, the iconic, the uncommonly seen Red Widow. These are fantastically gorgeous widow spiders, and they pack a powerful punch. They are no joke, folks. And they can be pretty darn difficult to find. We've been out here for hours and hours and hours with nothing but a sign of these creatures here. And we finally come across a web with a beautiful, beautiful female. This is an adult female right here, folks. An absolutely gorgeous arachnid. Now, of course, uh, there's nothing really to fear with these lovely spiders. Number one, you're really not ever going to come across a Red Widow. We've had to put in a lot of time, a lot of hours to even get over here and start looking for them. They are restricted to basically just small areas within the state of Florida, meaning they are endemic to this state. They only live here. So they're making these webs. You can see this was a fly-through zone. This grasshopper was probably happily flying through uh, the fields, through these grasses, and he just happened to smack right into this open web because he thought that he could just pop right through these palmettos here. Not the case. That's what this spider was counting on. It was counting on the foolishness, the hard-headedness, the not thinking ahead of this grasshopper here. And this grasshopper, sadly, has paid for it with his life. In the time that it has taken me to gently caress this spider out of her web, I can see right now this grasshopper hangs limp. He is dead. The powerful neurotoxin of this widow spider has done its work. This poor sucker, he is, uh, he's tonight's dinner for this lovely spider. And that's a fantastic example of how these creatures work. And a great exemplification of why animals like spiders are important. Without them, millions upon millions of insects would go unchecked. These grasshoppers, they're herbivores. And that means we don't have to fear them. But these plants, that's a different story. If we allow these herbivorous insects and more to basically grow and grow and grow in their populations unchecked, we could lose our native plants or ecosystems. And that's where these lovely little spiders come into play. These are habitat specialists, meaning there are so many spiders out here that these ones are doing so well because they do a specific thing. They have a specific role in this ecosystem. And that is a fantastically cool thing to think about, that there's wolf spiders running around on the ground, there's jumping spiders hunting through these palmettos, and there are these lovely little red widows that are hunting flying insects that are just trying to make their way through this ecosystem. It's so cool to get to see these really iconic, specialized, and well-adapted animals, but it's also a time to reflect for us because we have some really, really amazing specialized species here, not only in the US, but all over the world that have adapted over thousands or even millions of years to serve a specific role in their ecosystem. And that's why when these ecosystems basically vanish through development, through deforestation and through climate change, these arachnids and other creatures will have nowhere else to go and they will perish. When an animal is so specialized, it helps them to survive in a competitive world, but it also limits their ability to move out of their native environment and to colonize other areas when their native environment is no longer suitable. And that's why it's so important, folks, that we conserve our native ecosystems and our wild spaces all over the world to keep fantastic, beautiful gems like this spider here happy, healthy, and contributing to their native ecosystems. That's really what it's all about, folks. 
Well, there you have it. You made it to the end. I hope I was able to bring you in on this personal mission to meet the rare and beautiful Red Widow and learn that although these spiders do in fact possess a potent venom like their other Widow relatives, this does not mean that they are out to harm us. Well, folks, given that we've been out here for so long, I'm actually charging my phone right now because it's just about dead. That's how many videos we've knocked out today. So uh, I think it's just about time to let this lovely Red Widow get back to her home so she can uh, finish up devouring that grasshopper. So we're gonna let her get right back to it. There you go. She goes, hey, I remember that I live here. Look, this is your web. That's your home, that's where you live. You know what? To save damaging your web any further, I'll leave that big old stick. So you have something to remember us by. Oh man, that is just too incredibly cool. Look at that. Beautiful little red widow spider back in her home. Oh man, that's awesome. Oh yes, folks. We came, we saw, and we destroyed today. We got so much good stuff knocked out, and I hope that you enjoyed some of these fantastic videos we got for you all today. So thanks so much for tuning in today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little something about the fantastic, the beautiful, and the stylish Red Widow. These are absolutely one of my all-time favorite species of arachnids in the world, and it is absolutely marvelous that I've been able to come out, not once, but twice to Florida and film these fantastically beautiful arachnids. So my friends, that's just about all the time we've got for you today. Um, we're gonna go get something to eat. As you can see, it's getting a little dark. We're getting a little hungry in our tumblies and uh, we're ready to finish out a solid full day. So my friends, I hope that uh, you learned something about the Red Widow and I hope that you had fun doing so. So it's important to remember, again, these aren't aggressive animals. They aren't out to get us. They aren't out to hurt us at all. Of course not. Um, but they are very impressive, very cool species that deserves respect and appreciation. So my friends, thank you for tuning in today. I hope to see you next week. And until then, of course, take care of yourselves. And I hope to see you next time.